Is Minamoto still worth it in 2023 in Rise of Kingdoms? Should you spend your money on obtaining Minamoto? Now, as you guys can see today, we are looking into the museum in here. And with the museum buff, we can see that there is now two levels for Minamoto. The first level for Minamoto, it will give a cavalry defense 20% and then cavalry attack 25%. Now the second level on the museum relic buff in here, it is providing a cavalry defense 30% and cavalry attack 30%. Now, is it worth it for you guys to get Minamoto, max him out, and use him here in the Season of Conquest as it's available for the museum buff? Well, today in the video, let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, as you guys know, within the early game in here, Minamoto is available to play in Season 1. And also, of course, it will be available from Season 2 and so on and so forth in here. So starting from Season 1 to Season 3, you are going to be able to use Minamoto and without the museum buff. So what that means is that you're only going to be relying on the normal buff of what Minamoto has to offer. I personally have maxed out Minamoto and I've really used Minamoto in the early stages of the game. Now, Minamoto is a really good cavalry commander. I have done great stuff with Minamoto in the beginning of my journey here in Rise of Kingdoms. I honestly love Minamoto, so if you have the money to buy out Minamoto, so if you have that much money to buy out Minamoto, then I would say go ahead and do it. How can you get Minamoto? So you can get Minamoto through the VIP shop in here. So you will have to start from the VIP one. And I believe, well, well, let's take a look in here. You have to start from the VIP zero in here. You can get Minamoto sculpture, VIP two, VIP one, two, three, four, right? So, so on and so forth in here. And then it ends right around VIP 9. So if you've reached VIP 9, you can pretty much max out Minamoto by buying this. Now, the early game, how you guys can buy this, this is the only way you can do it. Now, let's talk about the early game usage for Minamoto. In the early stages of the game, you are going to dominate because you are, you don't have a lot of commanders to play with. And a lot of players who are playing the game are just starting out as well. And they're not going to have a lot of, you know, commanders as well. So if you are a spender and you want to dominate, you know, in Season 1, then trying to get Minamoto maxed out is something that you should do. Because you can definitely kill off many of the players in here with all those epic that they're going to be investing, all the free to play, and you can dominate against them. So the early game usage, the most common combination that you will probably do is going to be a Minamoto and Tao Tao. Now, if you don't have Tao Tao yet, you, you can work with other commanders in here like Belisarius. Where is Belisarius in here? You can work with uh, Pelagius as well, Baybars as well. So Belisarius is right here on this side. So you can work on these type of combinations. You can even do a Zun Chu as well in the early stages of the game as that for that usage. And I've seen a lot of players that really invest in Minamoto and they really do succeed because when you have Minamoto, you can be the one to rally the structures of the enemies. You can rally bases as well in the early game and you can also rally the holy sites and try to capture them. So there is a huge benefit on trying to get Minamoto in the early stages of the game. Now, once you have reached Season of Conquest is... Uh, Minamoto still being used. Now, once you've reached Season of Conquest, you have now access to the museum in here. As you can see, the museum will be unlocked. The museum will be unlocked at the start of the Season of Conquest. Unlock exhibit in museum to purchase relics to activate bonus for certain commanders. So, for example, in here, I've already unlocked Minamoto. So, with that being said, I have really used Minamoto a lot since then that it was introduced in the museum. I currently use Tao Tao as well. As you can see, I have actually uh, ranked up Tao Tao in here um, because I only have, for my setup, I only have like one uh, Cav Marches in here and I like Tao Tao. Um, now, if you are a player who is a Cav main, you might want to work on to upgrading Minamoto's museum as you reach the Season of Conquest. It allows you to be more stronger. It gives you additional 10% in here from the first level of Cavalry Defense and additional 5% for the Cavalry Attack. Now, that is going to be a good um, commander for your open field. Personally, I wouldn't recommend that you use Minamoto to launch rallies. Um, I would re only recommend to use Minamoto in the open field. You can use it for the canyons as well. Minamoto is a great commander here in Rise of Kingdoms. It is also great for, you know, launching barbarian 
forts if you're doing that and it's you know it's also helpful in the long term when you are trying to grind for barbarians you know if you have less casualty then you have less um, trips on going back to your base on replenishing means you're also saving up AP in Rise of Kingdoms. Now let's talk about the pros of Minamoto. Minamoto is a, you know, really good hero in here. It has a high skill damage, high mobility as well. Great talent path in here, you know, work on towards to the skills path and as well as to the cavalry path. What is nice about Minamoto, it has a uh, burning damage pretty much is what I think about it. It has a 75% chance to deal extra damage per second. So you have 75% to deal 600 damage factor for two seconds there. And it also has a damage taken increase by. So if you are in the open field and you're targeting somebody and you proc this skill, it says your the normal attack of troops led by this command have 10% chance to increase damage taken by the target by 30%. So everybody who's swarming that target will then get a lot of damage for 30 percent for 30 percent more as you can see here for three seconds this effect can trigger once every five seconds now the expertise of minamoto just pretty much enhances the first skill now although minamoto is a really strong powerful commander in rise of kingdoms it does have some you know cons in here um we know minamoto as a powerful like deals a lot of damage but the cons for minamoto is that it is a weak hero to absorb damage. So what we know about Minamoto is that it is a relatively weak commander in terms of absorbing damage. So it doesn't really have any defense in here, as you can see, if you're starting out in the early stages of the game, season one to season three, you don't have any defensive mechanism with Minamoto. This is a glass cannon. This is something that, you know, you will use to deal a lot of damage. But as you head into season of conquest, that kind of balance things out in here as you're able to get 30% defense for the cavalry. So when you're using Minamoto, you got to make sure that you are leading with pure cavalry units. What is some pairs that we can do with Minamoto? So let's switch this up to the cavalry section in here, right? So some of the combinations that you can do with Minamoto in the early stages of the game before Season of Conquest, you can definitely do like, you know, in the beginning, Season 1, Belisarius, Pelagius, you can do uh, Bay Bars. What I would recommend is using Pelagius because it is a more of a DPS in here. So if you want to deal a lot more damage, you can do Pelagius. Now, Bel Belisarius will be something that you want to use on a, you know, as a main march in here because it has his mobility so that you can chase other players. So another option that you can do is Bay Bars for more damage as well using Wit Minamoto. As you progress within the game, you're going to see more legendary heroes. Um, if you invest in Khan, this is also a great option to use, but... What I would tell you, Khan is a commander in Rise of Kingdoms that kind of diminishes its value in the long-term gaming. So, Minamoto, uh, we've seen Minamoto and Khan before. You can even do Minamoto and YSG in the early game. So, if you want to deal high damage, you can do Minamoto and YSG. But the most common combination is Minamoto and Dao Tao in the early game and as well as kind of into the mid game as well. You can do a Xiang Yu as well with Minamoto. You can also do that type of option. Saladin 5551 with Minamoto is also not a bad option. If you don't have all the, you know, meta pairs, then you have to kind of work alongside with, with, alongside with what you have in Rise of Kingdoms. Now, um, I have Minamoto. I think Minamoto is the easiest one to really max out since it is available in the VIP shop. For spenders, it is not really that expensive in comparison to uh, maxing out Hannibal Barca because in Hannibal Barca you have to get a higher VIP. So Minamoto I think is even more useful than Hannibal Barca. So if you have to choose uh, what you know commanders you're gonna buy in the VIPs uh, for the privileges in there, I would rather go for Minamoto because he has more usage in the long term than a Hannibal Barca. So that being said, you know Minamoto is a great investment still in 2023 because you can still use him in the early stages of the game. But in the late stage of the game, if you don't have Minamoto, don't just go out and buy Minamoto. You can invest in other commanders instead. But if you're starting in the early game, yes, Minamoto is great in 2023. You can still use that. You can still use Minamoto here onto the season of conquest. And with that being said, um, I still will use Minamoto. I'm probably going to unlock Minamoto skill there because I will work with Navsky 
and Minamoto. So that is an option that you can do. So for me, I'm currently doing Nevsky and Tao Tao because Tao Tao has a slow speed. But when I'm fighting in a close combat, I will be using Minamoto secondary for my Alexander Nevsky. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys like this. If you guys have not subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. And um, hit like into the video if you enjoy this content. And if you will have Minamoto, smash like as well. I'll see you guys again next time.